welcome to the 2024 BBWL Free Agent Player Preview. With the draft right around the corner, we'll take a look at this year's free agents. As we take a look at the draft board, you can debate that the 2023 season was the best season yet. A lot of new teams stepping up and a lot of parity in the league. It's really up for grabs in 2024, and this draft pick could put a team over the top. Bandits get the number one overall pick, but as we know from last year's draft, it's not necessarily the first or second or third pick that's going to put you over the top. In fact, it was the 8th, ninth, and 10th round picks All right, that ended up being in contention for the rookie of the year. And the last overall pick, Jake Keller, was an all-star. So hopefully the coaches are digging deep and doing their homework before they make their picks. All right, I want to turn things over to my team analyst, Colton Brooks. Colton, who do you like in 2020? Second overall pick, I'm going to go with them because they could pull an absolute monster pick. Uh, well said with Jared Lee, a monster pick could go a long way for the Vipers. And the Bandits lost Stephen Koval this year, so they're going to have to look to replace him in their number one spot. But let's waste no time. Let's get to our first player preview and Tim Thomas. Tim Thomas is probably one of the strongest guys here in the draft. And... He not only performed very well in the most recent NTR, but he also is a former NTR champion and coach. He's been playing in the league tournaments for the last few years, and the exit velocity off his bat has got to be one of the top in the league. If you're looking for a hitter, a guy that can really slug it, Tim Thomas is going to be your guy, and he's not afraid to go to all fields either. He will take it the other way. The only thing you don't get here with Thomas is he's not necessarily going to be a pitcher for your team. So if pitching is something you need, Thomas might not be your guy. He struggled to throw strikes in the NTR tournament, but I'll tell you one thing he did not struggle to do. He did not struggle to hammer the ball, even here against Stephen Koval, who dominated in the BBWL World Series. Tim Thomas had no problem getting after him. He also hit Perkins pretty well throughout the course of the NTR tournament. So watch out for Tim Thomas. Next up, we got James Consula. Big game James. Probably the most complete player in the draft when it comes to hitting, pitching, and defense. He swung it pretty well against some good pitchers in the most recent NTR tournament. He also flashed the leather with some great defense. But I'm going to tell you this. Consula biggest attribute is going to be that big right arm he is compared to Ethan Smart he throws the rising fastball and he throws it with some strong velocity without question so if a team is looking for more of a complete guy James Consula is going to be a big pick and if he can continue to remain consistent as you can see here with that rising heat he is going to be tough. He struggled to find it at times, but I'll tell you this. When he found it, he was absolutely electric, and teams had simply no shot at touching it. Next up, we got Johnny Pember. Johnny Pember, another complete player. You're going to get pitching, defense, and offense here. He, too, can throw the rising fastball. Trained with Katsuna to throw his pitch. I love his patience at the dish. I can't agree more. Uh, tons of patience at the dish for Johnny Pember. And as we see here, some clutch performance in the most recent NTR. Going to walk off Homer to help his team to advance further into the tournament. Uh, on the mound, definitely got players out throughout the tournament. And again, features that rising fastball. All right, that can certainly keep hitters from making good, solid contact. Pember not afraid to go after batters and come inside on them. He likes to put fear in the eyes of the hitter. I'll be curious to see where he lands. Moving on to our next player, free agent, 
Alongside me is Camden Brooks, free agent researcher. Cam, what do you think about this next free agent? Sleeper, sleeper. Yeah, the truth is we don't have a lot on Chris Kennedy, but I'll tell you this. He is very eager to play in the league, and sometimes in years past when we don't have a lot on some of these free agents, it ends up going a long way. So maybe a bit of a gamble here, but I'll tell you this. He is a winner. He played on the 1997 sixth grade CYO championship team. That's saying a whole lot if you want a winner on your team. Next up, we have Connor King. Performed pretty well in the most recent NTR, probably the biggest guy in the draft. Connor, you're going to get three things from him. He can swing it, no doubt. Features a home run here. He also is probably, I'd say, the best defender coming out of the draft. He was very, very sound, and as anybody would know that's played in the BBWL, if you can't make plays and get people out, Teams are going to score runs, and he was about 100% all the way through the tournament. Features a nice little curve here to sit down. Aiden Borton, Connor King, could be an asset to a team looking to make a run in 2024. Next we have Jack Behan. Jack can swing it. Another player you're going to get a lot from. He can swing it, but I think his biggest asset is his ability to throw strikes time and time again. He's proved in several NTR tournaments that he can get people out and can throw strikes. He played on some of the scream teams of the past, and he can also feel this position and knows the rules, as you can see there, turning double play and closing out an inning here for the Lumberjacks, the team he played for in the NTR tournament. Jack's a strike thrower, so if your team that needs a guy that's going to get on the hill and throw strikes and get outs, he is no doubt going to be a guy that you're going to want to draft. Like I said, he can swing it, and because of his experience, he knows the rules, and he knows how to compete, and he's been a proven winner here in the past. Next up, Timmy. Oh, many are saying he's going to go number one overall, and he's the reason why the Vipers moved up in the draft. They're hoping he can slip to number two. He features an electric fastball and a very, very sharp curveball. He was pretty much dominant throughout, sitting down some of the BBWL's best hitters. The question is, can he consistently throw strikes? Because no doubt he's got the stuff to get hitters out and here's the thing he can also swing it he sent several balls deep and gone over the right field wall in the most recent ntr tournament and put on an absolute show and he has fun while doing it a little bat flip there koval's a competitor and he wants to win now that's why many see him going very early to a team that is looking to win immediately. You pair him up with another pitcher who is locked, light, has been lights out in the past. You could very well have a major one-two punch to lead a team to a BBWL championship. Scouts also loved that even though he got hit a little bit in the NTR championship game, he was resilient, overcame the adversity, and was ready to battle back and put down some of the best hitters in the BBWL. Next up, we have Connor Tompkins, another guy who features a lot of strength. He has been dying to get in the league for a couple of years now, and you can see some good form here on his swing. We don't have a lot on Connor, but many compare him to the incredible Hulk due to his overall levels of strength. So if you're looking for a guy that can stick it in the order, Connor Tompkins may be your guy. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the mystery man. That's right, Eric Brown is coming back. He's making a return to the BBWL. We look back to the first year ever the BBWL's East MVP, Eric Brown, one of the best sluggers that year. 
Not only that, he featured some dominating pitches on the mound as well, making him one of the best players to set foot in the BBWL. But the question is, what happened to Eric Brown? Where did he go? Following his MVP season, he basically disappeared. He played just a few games in the 2022 season before he suffered a tremendous injury that not only took him down physically, but mentally as well from the embarrassment. Let's take a look. This is back 11-15-2021. Brown takes a steep and vicious fall on the stairs. He tries to play it off here to a couple of students, but the embarrassment really got to Brown mentally and physically as we see here. He spent several months out of commission, stepped away from the BBWL, and took on motocross, where he gained back some of his mental strength and composure. And since then, he's been on a major training regimen, getting ready for the 2024 season. A guy like Brown could put a team over top and into a BBWL championship. It'll be interesting to see where he lands and how he performs in his return. And that concludes our player preview for the 2024 season. The draft will be an interesting one. A lot of big time free agents. And this year, a lot of big time arms featured in this draft. Many teams searching for the right pitcher to take them to the top. We'll see everybody soon at the 2024 draft in Aruba.